Want to learn engineering and science? Well, you've tuned in to the right channel. Hit subscribe and press the bell icon and never miss an update from us. What's up guys, Manas here and in today's tutorial, we're going to be learning as to how a parabola can be made with the help of what you call the general method. Alright, so here is the description of the problem and here we go. Construct a parabola when the distance of the focus from the directrix is equal to 50 millimeters. Alright, so the distance of focus from the directrix. Let us say that uh, we have a point, okay, in the form of C in the directrix line itself. This vertical line is what you call the directrix. And from this directrix, the distance of the focus is how much? 50 millimeters. So let me write it down over here. CF is equal to simply 50 millimeters. All right, so we are supposed to draw a parabola. So first of all, let me locate this F over here. Okay, somewhere here and here it is. And this point lies at a distance of 50 millimeters from this point C over here. All right. Next thing to be done is to locate the exact location of the vertex. Now we are speaking of a parabola. And guys, you always need to remember this. The value of eccentricity in the case of a parabola is equal to 1. All right. Now the formula for eccentricity is uh, distance of the point from focus divided by the distance of point from the directrix. This can also be written as when P... Uh, reaches V or the vertex, the formula would become VF over VC. Okay, so the distance of point V from focus is exactly the same as distance from the directrix because when these two values are same, both numerator and denominator will be same, the overall value of eccentricity is going to work out as 1. And that's exactly when we have to deal with this guy. That's a parabola. So what needs to be done is pretty simple. Somewhere in between, or shall I say exactly in between C and F, we're going to have to make one more point in the form of say V. All right. So what's the next step? It's pretty simple. Now, 10, 10 millimeters away from this vertex towards the right, I'm going to be making points. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Is that enough? Okay. Now I'm going to be making vertical lines passing through these points that I've made just now like this. Okay. You can do so very easily with the help of a mini drafter. All right. Now the next step is extremely important and I would suggest you all to note this down. Okay, so you're going to have to take arcs of radii. Note this down, arcs of radii. Uh, the first arc that we're going to take is C1. Second one is going to be C2, C3 and it keeps on going. Okay, and I have as many as six points. So, so we have to reach up to C6. All right. All these arcs have to be put up taking F as the center. All right. So what you need to do is keep one leg of your compass at C, other leg at one and when, and with that much amount as the radii and then with focus F as the center, you need to place an arc above and below on this line, vertical line passing through one itself. All right. Now again, keep one leg of your compass at C, other leg at two and then with F as the center, cut an arc above, cut an arc below. Repeat the same stuff for C3. Okay, with F as the center, cut an arc above, cut an arc below. Then with C4 as the radius and with F as the center, cut an arc above uh, and one below. Yeah, that's it. Then with C5 as the radius, with F as center, cut an arc above, cut an arc below. With C6 as the radius, with F as center, cut an arc above, cut an arc below. And when you join all these points, it forms a smooth curve. And this curve is very popularly known as a parabola. Let me write this down over here. Well, that's it. Now, the next thing that we're going to do immediately is to have a tangent and a normal at a certain point. Now, let's say this is the point where we need to place a tangent and a normal. Let's say the name of that point is P. Okay, so the first thing that we've got to do is to join this P with this F over here. Okay, let me let us do that. And then with and then we need to make a line perpendicular to this PF line, something of this sort such that this angle shall work out as how much 90 degrees. So this can be done very easily. Okay, you can do so with the help of your mini drafter or simple uh, protractor. Anyways, this is the point that we're going to refer to as T. And when you join T with P, you're going to have what you call as a tangent and a line perpendicular to the tangent and also passing through point P is what you call a normal. So guys, that was all from my side for today. If you've got any doubt or query, do write them down in the comment section below. I'll be very happy to answer them. And if you believe that this video tutorial 
has added value to knowledge of engineering drawing, then do share and like this video, subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you guys get a notification. Well, needless to say, I'm going to be back again with more such videos on drawing and mechanics and I'm going to be taking up many more subjects also. Until then, it's a wrap. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep drawing, keep learning.